some people have said that what the Bible says that it was the land of Israel was the land of milk and honey, but the literal translation it was it was the land of Laban and honey. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but I buy it. Okay. Uh, so Laban, again, has been a, a, a staple and a very important uh, food. And uh, as you know, it's made from, you have to have the starter or the rawby. And, uh, and you have to keep that alive, and that's passed around to keep alive. But part, in part of the process of making Laban, you have to warm the milk uh, very, very slowly uh, till it gets to the right temperature when you take it off of the heat. And uh, my mother did it by putting her finger in it. And she would put her finger in it, and when it reached the correct temperature, then she would know to take it off the heat. Well, when my brother Neil was working on his cookbook, I mean, you know, the finger test is impossible for most human beings. And so what he did was he stayed beside her and, when, and he put a, uh, a thermometer, a food thermometer, in there to see what the temperature was when she would say that it was ready. So um, when Mama was pretty sick, this was in her, her last days, Neil was, was making live and he said, you know, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to test this thing. I'm going to see how, how good she really is at this. So he's, he is... He has got the thermometer in there, and she's in the den, and he's in the kitchen. And, and he knows that it's not quite where it should be, but nonetheless, he takes it to her, and she puts her finger in it, and she says, you need to leave it on a few more minutes. <laughs> I mean, just within a, a few degrees. <laughs> an amazing woman, an amazing story, really. <laughs> 